Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft PowerPoint session. What we are going to look at in this module is how to embed and link Excel files and Word documents into a PowerPoint presentation so that you can open a PowerPoint template, for example, and update links so that the most current data is sucked through into your PowerPoint. So you don't have to spend ages and ages copying and pasting every month to get information into a PowerPoint ready for a report. This is an automated process. What I'm going to talk about today, you can also do into Word or Excel, whichever way you want to go, you can do this. So first of all, I have an Excel file open. So if I copy this data, control C and just paste it back into my PowerPoint. That is just a dead copy which will sit there and it's, it's the sort of thing that people will do every month over and over again, re repeating themselves each month. And sometimes that can be quite a stressful process. But if I do it like this, if I, I've still got it copied there, look, so if I go back and select paste special as an option and paste link and select this option, Microsoft Excel worksheet object, click OK. I get the same information formatted, but also linked. So watch these figures. If I go and change um, these figures, in fact, before I do that, I need to save this PowerPoint. So I'll just call this um, embed, embedded and save. The reason I've done that is if I quickly show you file info when you save the file you get these edit to edit links to files you can see what what this is linked to sometimes you get files um, have an error message coming up where it can't find a particular linked file and what's happened there is somebody's either deleted the link file or moved it and PowerPoint or Word or Excel whichever one you're using can't find it you would have to go and edit the links either find it or delete it or break the link and redo it. Now, if we go back into Excel and delete a figure, for example, if I delete that figure there, this source data is changed. And in PowerPoint, you can see that that source data has also changed. So this would automatically update. As soon as you open this file, it would ask you, do you want to update links? You would say yes, if you're on the network, and then it would update. This one, as you can see, has not. Now there's a slight penalty when you bring in graphs. So if I click on this graph, it's not a big penalty. If I copy that and paste it back into this slide, if I just paste it normally, when you paste a graph in from Excel like that, you can animate it in the same way as you would expect to be able to animate any graph in PowerPoint. So if I put the animation pane on, go into effect options. You have chart animation where you can select different animation for this graph. So it will build up as you're clicking your mouse. This graph will just populate. I'll probably pick the worst effect possible. I normally pick dissolve in. That's why I pick dissolve in because it's quicker than that. Even though you can adjust the settings and the speed up here. But there you go, you get that sort of feature. Now, if I delete this graph, delete, and just check if I've still got it copied. Well, I'll copy it again. And if I use paste special, paste link, I get the same graph appearing except when I do animation, animation, add animation, this time I will go for dissolving. I get the dissolving effect and when I go for effect options and then um, I go down here, there's no tab for you to do that. It's all grayed out at the top there as well. There's no tab for you to do that. So you, you would be able to animate the graph, but you wouldn't be able to build up the graph. But that's a slight penalty because what you're really after is if this data changes for the graph to pick it up, which it has done. These two sets of data are linked. 
and that's the whole point of it. So if we um, paste specials into Word along with narrative, this would be a Word report that would be perhaps a template. You would open a template every month, say yes to do you want to update links, and then the, the relevant data would pull through. Now there is another way of doing all of this, and it is insert object, which I find a bit more volatile in terms of crashing machines. It's from the insert tab, and then you've got object over this side. You've got create new or create from file. I'm going to browse first of all for an Excel file. Examples, Excel 2019, charting. You can link again there, but I'm just going to click OK. And then it should drop in the, the data from that Excel file. But you can see what it's done here. It's brought all the data in, not just the table or the graph. It's brought everything in. And also, if I double click into this, I actually do open Excel. And I've got the full functionality of all the tabs within Excel. So there's a, a little more information you can do or get access to by embedding an object. So I'll click out of that. I'm just going to delete that off for now and do a Word document. Same process, though. I think the best way, if you're going to use this sort of feature, is make sure you've got stable connections to um, your files, where you're going, your stable network. If you're going across Wi-Fi, you might find it a bit more volatile. If I click OK to that, it should just drop a Word document in there, like so. And again, if I double click into that, I mean Word, you can see the ribbon at the top there has changed to Word. So I'm now editing this in Word. Uh, I can make this box bigger by resizing these corners. But for now, I'm just going to click outside of there and I'm going to delete that one off. So just to recap, personally, I think using Paste Special and Paste Link by selecting and copying the bits and bobs that you might want from a spreadsheet individually is probably a better way of doing it than in certain objects, but it's totally up to your personal preference. If you need to flick through on a, on a slide, for example, lots of different information in an Excel file, then the Insert Object one is for you, where you can click on different tabs. But otherwise, if you're just displaying information and talking through that information, the pay special pace link would probably do. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this session and thank you for your time.